Hi everyone, it's Emma D. Emma Darcy from Consumer Psychology Customer Connections. So just a quick video on where you get information on your customers. So if you're wanting to do a little bit of investigation into your customers, who they are, what they are, um, when I say what they are, you know, kind of what they like, their influences, where are they from. One of the, there's a couple of things here, just as I said, a quick video. First of all, Facebook Insights is really good. You can go into Facebook, Facebook Insights and that basically gives you um, some really good information about whether people, are, you know, whether your customers are male or female, where in the world they're from, their age. Um, it'll also give you um, an insight into what types of posts they prefer on your Facebook page, um, which is really good because that gives you the sense of what content is working and what's not working and to replicate the type of posts that you are putting on Facebook, you know, the ones that are doing well. So just have a look at that. You can also look at um, your competitors on Facebook as well, which is a really good um, way to check out, you know, what they're posting, what's current, um, to look at trends in general, which is really good as well. Mm. Google Analytics then you can have on your website and that can, again, track your customers, track, it, uh, track them rather, and, you know, you'll get to see who's coming to your website, where are they from, how often they're coming to your website, um, are they bouncing from your website? In other words, are they looking and are they going? So why is that? Maybe you need to change your um, homepage because maybe they're not, you know, it's not resonating with them. Maybe the text on it isn't resonating with them. If they are looking into different pages just to analyze um, what pages they're looking at, um, if you have a product-based business, are they buying? Um, if they're not, you know, kind of at what point are they stopping um, and leaving your website? So just look at all the Google Analytics. Um, that's kind of another video really to go through individually through Facebook Insights and Google Analytics so we just have an idea that those are really really good places to start if you want to figure out about your customers get an overall view of your customers also look at past and present customer profiles like we've already done um, in this course really sit down and look at your past customers and equally your present customers profile them and compare and see are their common characteristics um, and this will give you, again, very good insights into the types of customers that are coming into your business, be it a product or a service. Um, you can see here I have in large um, letters, check out your competitors, which is really important as well. You know, so do some um, competitor analysis, you know, really sit down and think about your, your nearest competitors, who they are. If you can get any information online about them, that would be great as well. Just to check out, you know, why people are going to them. Is it their branding? Is it their marketing message? Is it their products? Is it their services? Is it extra quality? What is it? that's um, attracting people to those competitors and can you step up your game and can you provide an even better service to your, your um, customers. Check trends in your industry as well, that's really important. Where will you find these? If you've got governing bodies, so if you're in the retail sector, there's many really good, there's a lot of really good magazines. Also, there's a lot of, um, when you're in different industries, there's usually governing bodies like I, um, I'm in marketing, so the Marketing Institute of Ireland, or there's different marketing institutes across the world, and they're always releasing um, papers on trends and what's changing and whatnot. So depending on what industry you're in, you'll always find out, you know, go to um, different websites, you know, in terms of, you know, the overall, the overarching bodies that would, you um, look after your industry and you will get some great trends there. So they're just some quick tips and I hope you like them. Drop an email to me or comment in the Facebook group, you know, and let me know how you found um, out your information and how that's helped you in your business. So thanks so much for listening. Talk to you soon.